Hey everyone, I hope all is well. My name is Ashanti and welcome to Uniquely Ashanti's Corner. And today I'm coming to you with another dose of vitamin P. <laughs> and today's topic is don't allow people to block your goals. We all have aspirations for things we hope to accomplish, whether it's going to school, getting a job, buying a house, or finishing up a project that we keep putting off. And when we finally decide to work on those goals, you know what happens? I'll tell you what happens. You come across what I call goal blockers. Their focus in life is to tell you you are not good enough. They tell you that your time is better spent doing something else. They tell you how silly your goals are. You'll even come across some goal blockers that throw temptation in your face because they just can't stand to see you moving forward while they're stuck where they're at. So they figure, hey, since I can't get to where I'm going, let me stop other people from getting ahead of me so I feel better. Goal blockers keep trying this tactic, even though it has a very low success rate, okay? <laughs> if you ask me, that's time well wasted. Don't allow goal blockers to stop you from growing and becoming all God has created you to be. That's why a lot of people say that you need to refrain from telling people about your goals because that's when the blockers just come out from their hiding places, wherever they are. I want to remind those tuning in that whatever goal you want to start, do it now. It's not your fault why the goal blockers can't get ahead, so don't let them guilt you into staying stuck. If someone truly cares about you, they'll be happy that you're taking active steps, encourage you, and even offer to help you when you need it. True supporters will never stand in your way. Another thing that true supporters in your life will not do is act like their goals are more important than yours. Have you ever faced a person who constantly interrupts what you're doing and forces you to help them accomplish whatever tasks they have? Even when you tell them that you're on a deadline or it's vital for you to stay focused on the task that you are currently doing, they dismiss it. They may even threaten you if you don't stop what you're doing to help them. It's selfish and vindictive. Don't allow people like that to stop you. The same way that person wants you to respect their goals, they need to respect yours. And if they can't respect it, you continue to demand that respect. It doesn't matter if someone doesn't agree with the goals that you set. It doesn't matter if someone thinks your goals aren't that serious and can be done at a later time. You have got to stick to the schedule you have in order to stay consistent and get to where you are going. Now, <laughs> this may sound a little weird, but I was actually inspired to talk about this topic from a situation that involved a forceful relative and some ice cream. Oh yes, you heard me correctly, some ice cream. <laughs> now just hear me out. I honestly don't know why this popped in my head recently, but anyway, <laughs> back in 2019, a relative of mine had a taste for some ice cream right while we were out and about. She stopped at this gas station and was telling me about how good ice cream is and that I should try it and asked if I wanted to split some with her. Now at the time, I was refraining from eating sweets for a week or a week and a half, something like that, and trying to drink more water. That was a goal that I had set for myself. So this relative goes to get the ice cream and continues to force me to eat it. She said that she didn't want all of it because she was trying to be mindful of how many sweets that she was eating too and completely dismissing that I was doing the same. So you know what she did? She eats the amount she wants and forcibly hands me the remainder of the ice cream. I could not believe that she was forcing me to eat it after I repeatedly told her no. N-O, capital N, little O. Anyway, she kept telling me to eat it, saying she doesn't want it to go to waste. So what I did was I just sat there holding the cup in my hand. I was going to let that ice cream turn into ice cream soup. <laughs> and when the relative saw that, she got irritated with me, ate the rest, and complained that I shouldn't be wasting money. Now, 
just for the record, I want to just put this on the record. That ice cream only cost a few cents. It didn't even cost a dollar. A few cents. I'm just putting that out there. And even if the ice cream was pricey, I was not going to let the relative get in the way of the goal that I set. She didn't respect my goal, but she wanted me to respect hers. It's not a one-way street, okay? If you want respect, you respect others as well. Period. Point blank. Okay? <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just laughing about this because who knew that ice cream could lead to a topic like this? But, you know, I had my deep thinker moments. You know, I had those moments from time to time, and that's a good thing. I, I'm cool like that, okay? <laughs> So that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you got something out of this dose of vitamin P. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below and share this video with anyone that you feel needs to hear this. If you do, please refrain from profane language, even if it's an abbreviation. Please be respectful. God bless each and every single one of you. Take care and stay safe.